over the uh, the coach from here, the Lusso, 39995. This will be nice, I would presume, being a coachman. Have a look at Lucas. Pre owned, I presume. Yeah, pre owned 2021. It's got automatic levelling on it. Solar, barbecue points, wrap around front lounge, island beds. It's got everything really. I'm going to carry on this. Oh, look at that. That's just beautiful. Look at it. Stunning. Look how much space there is when the bed's in. Worked up. Yeah, and it feels proper. This is your bathroom. How big that is. Yeah, Aldi it. eating as well. Yeah. It's the space you've got now when the bed's in the mode. Transverse island bed. Full size domestic fridge and freezer. Good wardrobe with inbuilt lighting. Plenty of drawers with positive clothes patches on them. Aldi heating tank now, so yeah, not for heating. It's had soft leveling put on it, so it's soft level itself. Look at the bathroom. The bathroom's stunning. Look at that. Shower. Wow. It is absolutely stunning this one is. The blinds, the hecky roof lights, your microwave up here. Storage. Of, uh, storage spot on the bills. Who these come out? Let's have a look. There's more storage as well. Look at this. Right. Look at this. That's what you get in these modern kitchens in your house now. Spot on. Just so clever and intuitive for the storage space on them. And this is lovely this is. Look at this. Stainless steel top. Three burner hard bands, hot plate. And this is comfortable. This is really comfortable. And this is somewhere you could uh, Spend quite a bit of time in here quite easily. It's beautiful. Comfortable up here. Lovely view from your front and side windows when you're on site. Pioneer speaker system. It's just, just stunning. Oh, my bedroom, I think I've got it. This bedroom again. Look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah, it's in the daytime mode, so it's obviously gives you a lot more room to get around, but even with the shoulder weight, you'd still be able to get around quite easily, and it's such a good layout. Stunning. It's a Bailey 79-2F. And a 2 litre 165 horsepower engine. Add blue. Sat now. 16 inch diamond cut alloy wheels, digital area trimmer, 100 watt solar panel, only 3.5 ton so you can drive this on your normal car license. And this one's 69,995. No, you can't drive this on your car license, you need to see one entitlement because it's 3850, sorry about that. Yeah, we'll have a look inside, shall we? This is similar to what me and Julie have got, to be honest. Mm. 
Full seam. Look at the automatic fridge. Got over storage. You've got your iron bed. Pull out. door. Blankets off. We've got one of these in our van, but we don't use it. It's it's of little use to be honest at all. Just a new shirt. It's nice. Lift on this, we've got this like, dressing area here on this van compared to ours. You've got your Aldi heating tank there in this wardrobe. Big wardrobe to do as well. Storage space. We've got a, I don't know what it is, <laughs> not a clue, oh, I and then you've got the same bathroom, that's beautiful, this is really nice, yeah, so you've got a big mirror, the Aldi radiator, the cupboards, Cupboards under your sink. Oh. Good quality little cup under there for your toothbrushes or whatever. The single drain hold shower tray houses a double in ours, so I don't know we've got a single in here. Plus it doesn't need dual on it. This is nice. You can shake the bottom where you can close it off. But like our Bailey, same we've got I like ton, that bit. tons of room in here. Like this bit here oh. where there's our bathroom doors are, yeah. Yeah, it's got loads of room in here. It's pretty much the same as ours, same layout. Upholstery is different. It's got the table, someone's added this as an extra because I've done one in our van. Massive. Yeah, I know. The cupboards, same as ours, but ours is obviously got the Victron stuff all in it now. So it's come away a bit here, but the same as ours, really. Blinds and. <laughs> it doesn't just get fly screens. I one of these. Yeah, I'll just say, so it's got the extra table, someone's obviously fitted that to it. These don't come as standard. If your aerial, your booster is in here. Um, TV bracket is here. Sockets. Oh. I like the colour of the seating in this one. Yeah, it's good, it's good upholstery. Then you've got your underbed, these, these all lift up. This one lifts you up as well. On, on ours, it's got like a, a drop down box, so this is slightly different. Big winds at the front. Lines in here. Flash screens again. Um, normal head unit with the sat nav on the screen, I would think, and the built in reverse camera. Um, the lights are like ours. You've got two settings. You can punch them in any direction really, they're really good, very flexible. It's just like looking at an air van, but it's just slightly different. It's nice, it looks really wide and open at the back. Yeah, you know, if, like if, if, if you I look, like, like the space there. Like uh, that um, thing that you had built for it, the pull out to the side, you'd still be able to get past, wouldn't you? Yeah. So yeah, it's just it's another stunning one. I mean, we love our Bailey, like I say, it's, you know, the, the room in it is just phenomenal. They made them a little bit wider on the outsides and obviously it makes so much more internal room. But because you've got that there, you've lost that cupboard here. But, like I say, ours has got cupboards here, it's got a little tiny one at the bottom, but ours has got a full cupboard here. 
and then we've got the TV bracket there, and then we've got the wardrobe there, haven't we? So it's it's very very similar. It's just just different layers. In this one, you do need C1 entitlement on your license. So if you are coming here, you do need to uh, make sure you got C1 entitlement on your license before you come here, or you're gonna have to do the test to uh, get that. Yeah, so we're in the next one now. This is uh, a Norse Platinum. We'll have a look at the model details on the outside. Um, it's 76995. <laughs> Julie just tripped up a step. <laughs> this is a 2023 van, four berth, um, 6.43 meters, I think. I'll have to have a look outside because I can't really see from any. I'm trying to read backwards. Um, it was. 82971, it's now 79995. So you are getting some discounts. It's the new Fiat cab, so it's a really nice cab. Feels really just like a car to be honest. Absolutely gorgeous. You got the big pioneer head unit in this one. If it'll come on because it's oh it does yeah, it's come on with the nose. Pioneer. Oh, looks nicer. Smart. It's your camera one. Well, no, not actually a camera, but you've got a reversing um, sensors. You must have because you've got the lines there. So yes, nice cabin. That's nice, beautiful. Really nice. So if you had the Fiat cabs before or the the boxer, they're all pretty much the same, but like I say, they just put shiny buttons and things in these now. They just, just modernise a bit, um, electronic dials, but it's, you know, same captain's chairs, comfy chairs, all comfy suits, they've got a nice bit of um, padding to them. A um, fixed table there, uh, four travelling, so four sleeping, I presume. Tally comes up out of the back of the seats. Plenty of space again in these. If you're whatever you're taking with you. It's nice, isn't it? It's just nice, yeah. The um, Thetford Bridge, auto by the looks of it. Built in freezing compartment, solid box at the bottom. Very thin mirror, so you only really get a little bit of you in at the time. Um, very deep stink, so that's nice. Stink? Stink, yeah. Sink, stink. Stinky sink. Sink, stink, stink, sink. Uh, three burner gas hob like most Continental vans and your little combined oven and grill, which is low down, so that's nice to see. They've put them low down. You've got your walk-in, wet room, shower, toilet, whatever. And I'll see your, your sink here, it all feels a bit thingy, but I think this falls to one side. So you, can, you can manage, you fold this over your bench seat, like so. And then you put your shower doors out, your shower doors here, that goes across there. And that holds up back then. That goes there, it's got a magnetic strip on there, it's been, been put on there a bit iggly piggly like that. The noodle life out of me, to be honest. I think it's a brand new van. I think they've got on that on straight. But hey, this is the quality we've come to expect from most manufacturers these days, isn't it? Yeah, nice, nice roof like there as well. Somewhere to hang your wet clothes, not hang your nail. Bench seat. Bed. It's about just you know, thigh height if you're in about six foot, five eleven, six foot. Mm, it's not bad. It's got a tambour door around the bathroom. Oh, it's for the fan, is it? So I'd like to say more storage up here, loads of storage in it. But I don't know what the weight is and what the 
actual maximum weight is for a lot of these vans now they've got loads of storage but because they put them up to three and a half ton maximum you can't actually carry anything looks like an Aldi tank but really weird um, header units I've not seen a lot of before unless they change them like it's got built in Wi-Fi as well so it's a twist lock this is nice though um, yeah, nice deep cut loaded drawer that's nice again as well baskets pull out so you haven't got to reach in onto your cupboards so yeah it's nice looks like it's got a vent there looks like it's been smashed might not be though so it looks that way I'm we'll just doing it under the bench, look. Overall, nice fun. Mm -hmm. Let's go have a look from outside. Lovely big wide habitation door. Yeah, it sounds like beautiful. So it's a North Sky TI 650 MF plating. It's 2.2 litre, 140 brake horsepower. Six speed manual. Mm, yeah, 6.43 meters long. It's only a short van. Payload 835 kilos, so it's got a good um, kilo as well. Max weight 3650, so you will need your C1 license for this one. But yeah, 79.995. Nice graphic joints, full Omnistore awning. Tabs a bit plain, the plain whites. Yeah, not so much like it. I like those because it's black, but yeah, it's, yeah. it's a nice looking van. It's a nice looking van, so I've got the country, so this is the side and the locker. Let's get past here. But you, and built water tank there, so obviously no problem with going next to it um, in the cold weather because you, you tanks are inboard. But you waste and fresh water emptying there in your hookup. And on the other side, you've got free space. Yeah, it does look a nice one. Get yourself down to Don Amos and get the boat if there's something you want. There's loads of stock here, so you might as well get down here and have a look. Because this is very big steps up. They put big steps up so you can have a bigger garage, but I think I'd rather have a smaller garage and not bang my head every time I go to bed. But, you know, another night, if you like a drink, you're going to end up uh, breaking your neck and down there. Look at that. Dum, dum, dum. Mm, beautiful one though, mm, it's not been sad, you know, I mean everybody, you know, twin draining shower, but then again you've got this step again, you know, so it doesn't make the shower shorter if you're a, a bigger stature person, should I say, like myself, mm -hmm. you've got a step up again on the toilet, which seems to be in these Adama ranges, must be because the wheel well is there so they've had to lift it up. Quite a compact one. Nice single beds there though. And so you, you just have to be mindful that that's where they are. And, you know, there's loads of space under there. And that's your wardrobe. There's loads of space in it. There's one on the side of it. The same again on the other side. Loads of space. What's this for? What's this do? You've got like little cubbies here, each side of your bed to put your knickknacks in. Oh, it's quite, quite handy to be honest. You've got your lights again, with your flexible necks on them, and a little storage cupboard. You've got your USB points up here, yeah, you've got USB points on the lights, so you'll be able to charge your phone up here if you needed to. Oh, box. That's my head again. 
you got your another point there for TV point, but I don't know how you'd fix it on here to be honest, because you know there's not much fixing there. And then what's this one? This one's on the Ford card, it's on a auto. And this is 67848, it was 75848. So 2023 model for both for traveling. Seats are quite nice, quite deep. Quite deep seats, you'd have to end up looking at yourself like this all the time. So if you don't like the look yourself, I wouldn't buy it. So I don't think it's for me. Mm. Typical Ford cab. I'm sure when these first came out, they all had top of the range Ford cabs with uh, full infotainment systems in them. So. I don't know, perhaps that's just a, a dealer's specification. If they don't specify that, they won't come with it, will they? have got another mirror here, as I just said. Which is nice, but when you're sitting down there, you just keep getting your reflection in it. It's, you can imagine not getting a bit of a pain in the arse, but there we go. You know, it's a nice one. It's a 7540. It's an auto, three and a half tons, so you don't need to see one on your license. You can just drive this on any license. There's your gas locker storage in this one, two outside bottles, can you have six kilos, quite big ones, anyway. You? you might get 11s in there when you see Gary Spruce, this is. One of the guys' doors, it's the smaller one. And then around here, this is your large garage door, so plenty of space in the garage. But, but I would prefer really to have that bed just a few inches lower and have just a little bit less garage space. Got a little, oh, that's where you drain us for your tanks. Washing points inside the garage. And a uh, two lay. Oh no, two, two lay. A Fiamma. A Fiamma. Back rails. Reversing camera. Got whale water filling it as well. It's just like the, the Bailey. But it is nice, nice twin. The twin beds. If there's something new interesting, get yourself down to Donna Watch. This is a demo vehicle with huge discounts on it, so it is getting quite a bit off it to be honest. So uh, I'll say again, 67848. So Julie's dropping the pegs again in the rain. It's a terrible day here, really. It's as grim as your grandmother's mole. Gram? Grim as your grandmother's mole. Caught in spit look. So we're uh, Heading off from Don Amot now, like I said, we've had a good look round. Um, we did see that really nice van we came to look at, but it's just, as you probably know yourselves, you, you'll see something online, but until you've actually been there and looked at it, you just don't know. And it's just unfortunate not for us because of the bed situation. I mean, if we were, you know, in their 30s maybe. Just starting out, it'd be okay, but I think some of these van manufacturers need to realise that a lot of people, as they're getting older, they don't want to be climbing, you know, 10 foot in the air to get to your bed at night. I mean, if you like a tipple or two, you, you know, you might fall out and hurt yourself. Or you might pull something and drag it up there. You know, first one had a high bed, so it's no fun. But, you know, I suppose they've got to make space for four, six people in the van. But really needing to uh, go back to the drawing board on some of them and just make them so they've got a low bed and a lounge, but as everyone knows, it's always a compromise with motor room and you just have to get on with it. Anyway, it's enough for me for now. I'll see you in a bit. Have a good one.